everyone, Amy here with Amy Swears, and today I'm going to stencil and emboss to make an easy birthday card. So to start, I'm showing you <laughs> my little tools, which are rolling all over the place, and a few beautiful Distress Oxide colors. Um, this is where I've kind of just thrown all my foams. I used to have them all in little uh, coin pockets, but that just got messy, and now I just kind of grab a similar color and keep them all in here. So um, I'm trying to grab some foams that kind of match the colors that I picked of Distress Oxides, and then I will show you the direction that we're headed. Now this is one of my binders. These are all stencils from A Colorful Life Designs. I have them in um, these plastic sleeves, usually a couple of the six by six stencils. And this is the one I'm gonna use today. It is called um, Whirl, Whirl Around. It's an older stencil from A Colorful Life Designs, but if you do any shopping, be sure to use my coupon, AmyFan10, at checkout, and you'll save 10% on your complete order if you shop. So here's a photo of the finished card to show you the direction that we're headed, but it's really simple. Um, I do have some residual pixie spray on this, so it is kind of holding it down a little bit. Honestly, I probably should have put more pixie spray down, just because those little delicate bits um, within that design do kind of want to shift around especially if you're a little bit rough like me and tend to ink blend like a lumberjack so i'm going to start off with this antique linen color i'm kind of deliberately trying to use my distress oxides because i recently acquired all the reinkers and i feel like now i have the ability to kind of restore them and make them juicy again so i'm starting with antique linen and then crushed olive and then my third color is actually uncharted mariner so kind of a interesting combination i wasn't entirely sure it was going to work together and the antique linen does get a little bit lost in the shuffle but it was still a fun combo and i'm pleased with how it turned out you can see some of those little bits are popping up on me so here i'm kind of trying to stay within the confines of the design um, but i do end up kind of overlapping a little bit in some spots but it wasn't a big deal you can always mask it off if you're concerned about overlap but like I said I wasn't too concerned and I felt like these colors could work for anyone so this doesn't have to be um, for any particular gender but I feel like these colors would work for a masculine card if that's some sort of design that you tend to struggle with so I'm coming in with a little bit more antique linen just to kind of try and emphasize that in the center but again it kind of a little bit lost in the shuffle so I'm kind of trying to follow the direction of the stencil so I don't lift it up when I'm blending um, and, and make it kind of like pop up and make mistakes. So I'm just kind of intensifying the color, moving my magnets around. And this is my um, glass board studio glass mat that I'm working on. So it's actually magnetized and holding everything down. Now I have this gorgeous 3D embossing folder and I will link um, all the available products in the video description box below. If you expand and scroll down, you'll find all, all those details. But basically I'm gonna run this through off screen through my Spellbinders Platinum 6. And this gives some interesting, easy texture and um, a fun design feature to your card that doesn't take a lot of time. So here I wanna kind of make the edge um, the border of the card base to match. So I'm getting that crushed um, olive out again, and I'm just going right around the edges of the card base. I do have a piece of scrap paper sandwiched in there just because I don't want to get um, ink where I don't want it on the back of the card base or kind of on the inside if it's a little bit uneven. But this kind of continues that design color um, around the edge rather than just having a white border. And I have some tear tape here. I'm just using that to adhere it down. You could use liquid glue or um, tape runner, whatever sort of adhesive you want here. I just thought I would use this because it does have some dimension and texture from the embossing. So I'm going to remove all these little backers. Got my little pick tool. This was actually made by um, my friend Judy. She sent it to me. It's so cool. Um, I love having it on my desk. I use it for poking out little fiddly bits on my dies and also just kind of to remove these little backer bits if I don't want to mess up my nail polish. So this is my Judy tool and I love it. Um, here I'm just going to put this right in the center of the card base and this is all 120 pound accent opaque that I'm working on. Just slapping that on down and now I'm going to shop for a sentiment. This is my storage solution. I have a sentiment book, I have a critter book, and I have a label sentiment book now. So I have lots of stuff um, advanced 
or sorry, prepared in advance. You can see I got this glittery XO, which kind of looks good on the screen, but I realized in person it was a little bit too green, so I didn't actually end up using it. I was going to use that and then kind of find a sub sentiment, but then I decided to switch to this gold hooray instead. I felt it worked with the warm kind of colors of that crushed olive, and I'm using liquid glue. I know you're shocked. I'm a little shocked myself, but I have my tweezers here and I'm just gonna kind of pounce it off on the scratch paper so I don't have too much oozage. And then I'm gonna try and put this down kind of straight in the lower right corner. And then I will add a little bit of gold blingage from Pink Fresh Studios. They're little flat backed pearls that are kind of the same gold color as the gold uh, metallic cardstock that I had the die cut in. And I'm just gonna use my liquid glue and my, pick, uh, my picker tool and put this down in odd numbers. So I have three on the top right and two on the lower left. I prefer to work in odd numbers. I find them more visually appealing. I'm just gonna put this down here and that's basically gonna finish the design. So I would absolutely encourage you to combine your stencils with your embossing folders because you're gonna get more um, use out of your crafty products and it really does take it to the next level. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing. And like I said, if you shop with Colorful Life Designs, be sure to use my coupon AmyFan10 at checkout and save on your complete order. Thanks for watching. Bye.